Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, I'd like to talk to you about a unique hidden feature inside YouTube Google Plus. So stay tuned. Last night, I got a call from Mike from the 80s podcast channel. By the way, really good channel. Yes, this is a shout out for Mike from the 80s podcast channel. I will put the link below. Check them out. And we were talking about how to try to get more subscribers because quite frankly, lately YouTube has been doing things that have sort of flattened out the numbers or even people have lost subscribers. They are lost views or, or it just things just seem to stop moving. And whether, you know, these changes are good and bad is something that I really don't want to uh, talk about too much because... I just like to be sort of non-confrontational when, when it comes to these things. Most of you who have followed me know that that's sort of my demeanor, easygoing, um, at, at least here on YouTube. The people that know me in real life are probably going, um, that's not really you. <laughs> sort of. It, it's my other personality. Anyway, there there is a hidden feature inside YouTube uh, Google Plus, I call it because of that integration, that it, it's sort of there, but a lot of people don't know it's there. So it's like this hidden, little hidden feature. And I feel that if you use it, it can um, increase your numbers. And for me, and I, I'm going to show you, just hold on a second. Um, for me, I, I feel like it has boosted everything up, including, you know, revenue about 25%. So with all these recent changes that you took a hit, you know, flatlined or even declined, this might be a way to sort of use the tools that YouTube has provided, some sort of little hit there, and sort of use it to your advantage and, and bring that, that curve or bring that uh, line back up. So let's go ahead and, and take a close look at this. So what you were looking at is my dashboard if, if you've been using youtube a while you should know how to get to your dashboard if you don't you could go to youtube.com forward slash dashboard and uh here's mine yes i'm a youtube partner obviously and wow <laughs> i really didn't know this i went over five million views that's uh pretty cool And, um, um, you know, I might have to do a contest here when I hit 20,000. Anyway, um, getting back to the subject, you're on your dashboard. What you want to do is click on community here on your left. Go ahead and um, do the little pull down right there. Okay, let me try it again. Let me try it again. There we go. And you see that there is a section called fans. Now, if you don't want to go through all this, you could put in uh, in the URL up on top. You could go to youtube.com uh, forward slash uh, youtube.com forward slash audience. And it will bring you right to this page. And what you can see is your fans. Your fans are listed here. And you could put them in different orders, you know, by their engagement. You know, are they watching your entire video, all your videos? Your subscribers, uh, subscribers subscribe from oldest to first or, or whatever. You can, you know, order them any way you want. And on the right here, you have this subscribe sense. And there's this thing called view. And you could pull this down and select people in your circle. People not in your YouTube, top YouTube fan circle. What this does, if you if you didn't do this at all, you're not obviously not going to have anybody in this particular circle. And I'm going to go ahead just for demonstration purposes, select people not in my top YouTube fan circle because I've done this several times. And what this is going to do is show me all the people that are not in this particular circle here in the new Google Plus of YouTube. So, you know, um, th this guy, <laughs> I know he's always uh, watching my videos and 
Um, I, I actually go and watch some of these channels too. They have some good sites here. As a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and scroll down so you can see all these really good folks. These are people that are enjoying my videos. And, you know, since the changes in YouTube, sometimes, you know, people that you subscribe to just don't seem to show up or don't seem to show up as much and you sort of lose track of, of the channels that you want to watch. So anyway, what you could do to help improve your visibility to your biggest fans is click Add to Circle. And you see where it has top YouTube fans or you can just create whatever circle you want and it says selected 291 people I'm gonna click OK bang and with one press of the button I have just increased my visibility to 291 people now the importance of being in the circle is that when these folks um, you know go to their YouTube channel you're hopefully going to show up a little more often now. And also, when you go to Google to do searches, if you notice that uh, people that you sort of communicate with in Google+, Plus might be in some of those Google search results. So if I review a product, B, get the Gear Obsession channel, and that person is searching under Google for that particular item, since you're, you know, you're, you're friends in Google+, Plus, your stuff might come up for them. Now, since I've done this little thing with the fans, since I've done this, 25% um, increase. That, that's what I'm seeing in numbers across the board, all those analytics. Um, I think that if things are slow, you, you absolutely need to do this. Oh, <laughs> A-Z-E-L, I, I wish I knew how to say this, X-A-Z-A-Z-E-L-X-13. Ah, uh, this guy, he's up in Canada. He, he's been doing some really nice videos on the pipeline. But back in the old YouTube days, he used to um, look for those ghost accounts. That's why he has a picture of a ghost there. He, um, he used to go after some channels for using ghost accounts. Uh, there were some gun channels that really got their subscribers up early by, you know, paying money. And, and companies would create these accounts that would uh subscribe to your channel uh, and they probably still do that and <laughs> he used to go point them out but um right now he he d does have an outstanding channel you should check it out man of many things another good channel he has a truck and he uh it, it's his bug out truck or bug out vehicle and it's pretty cool we actually got off to a rocky start <laughs> he sort of misunderstood what I said and um, I ended up you know bringing up a, a quick chat on Google Plus I got it all straightened out and we're cool um, sometimes you know it doesn't always go nice and smooth again 80s podcast channel remember it's how I started this video and, and where I got the idea to do this video check out Mike at the 80s podcast channel he is kick ass I'm gonna have the link below ah uh, super fly <laughs> fat guy he uh has a, an awesome channel um i i never miss one and he always starts out his video like goat boy <laughs> he's like hey <laughs> like a, he reminds me of goat boy on the old saturday night live um videos you gotta go way back i really 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 showing my age but um definitely um do this do this if you're a partner and, and your numbers are suffering because of the recent changes that youtube made whether they're good or not you're you're going to need to embrace them or you're just going to get fed up and leave and this is one of the th hidden features that if you take advantage of i think you'll see the numbers change as a matter of fact do this i urge you to do this and then in a couple of weeks come back to this video and you know write in the comments if it was successful or not okay so if you're a partner i urge you to take advantage of this especially if your numbers have been hurting lately and you're getting discouraged i know a lot of people that i've subscribed to are just leaving youtube they're just totally fed up me i'm gonna go ahead and um try to embrace it <laughs> and um this is one of the ways so i urge you if you're a partner to to try this out see if it works 
And uh, again, you then you know after you do this and put them in the circle, you go you could go to your Google Plus stuff and you'll see that circle in Google Plus and you'll see all those people in that circle. You need to get familiar with it. So you know, the more you get familiar with this, the more you're going to find little gems like this hidden in there that you could take advantage and increase your numbers. There are other things that you could do if you're a new partner or you're sort of uh, new to YouTube and it, it's harder than ever now because so many people are doing this to, to just get recognized to be seen. There are other things that you can do um, in general as far as the actual video taking, making, it's uh, again old school calling it video, uh, but making movies, making YouTubes. Um, good lighting. Good lighting is extremely important. I have two super bright freaking you know studio lights putting light into my face you don't want a dark grainy picture taken with a cell phone where you have the black uh let me line it up the black stripes here on the sides down people don't want to watch that they're gonna you know go to your video they're gonna see this and, and unless it's something that's like viral you know quality kind of stunt or something people are not going to uh, watch the video and they're definitely not going to come back and watch others uh, other things um, I noticed that like someone new to YouTube will come on there and they don't really know what they're going to do they just want to do a video and hopefully just you know look at me and I want to be famous Keep, you know subscribe and then they'll come and say um, you know tell me what you want me to do and uh, you know write in the comments below and, and it's just cheesy it's it's really lame and don't, at least at the beginning don't get on there and go hello they, welcome to my channel I'm trying to get people and, um you know tell me what you want me to do videos about and you know it, and you know, you're thinking in your mind that you can you know if you do what these people are sort of uh stumbling on your channel or suggesting that it'll be good you need to create a channel and focus on whatever you, you want that channel to be about it it is a distinct advantage to do something that you're good at um, it or take a hobby especially if it's a hobby that costs money because if you have a successful channel and you are making videos of this hobby one day YouTube you, you'll make some money back and you could pay for that hobby and then your significant other is not gonna get really pissed off that you're spending all this money on that hobby other things um, being very scripted and and I am very guilty of this I would have everything written out and then like a robot sort of go down and then slowly as I gain confidence in my video taking I think I, I just would have bullets to just make sure I cover the points that I feel important that I want in that video and then you really start just going ad hoc and when you start going ad hoc and just letting things flow you're letting your true personality so if you have a personality <laughs> that you that is you know something that should be out there get it out there don't hide behind a script because you're, you're not doing yourself justice um, however if you don't have a personality you need to learn how to act like you do learn how to be an actor um, I'm really not quite exactly as I seem here on YouTube. People who really know me in real life can attest to that. Um, sometimes I'm very quiet and socially awkward, especially around people that I don't know. And I do terrible parties. I hate crowds. And I probably interact with you guys more than anybody else. I'm just, uh, I'm not a real social person however um, the the small amount of friends and, and co-workers that I do have I, I can get a little bit crazy with as as they know um, one of my favorite things is the copy or man another old sign out lights get yeah, someone will be doing something and I'm like oh someone's making prints the printmaster the printmeister the printerama make it prints make it copies you know have some fun when, when things are kind of uh, monotonous at work and just need to break the ice I, I might let a little loose uh, here and there but those things will definitely you know if you shine in that video by doing these things you know 
um, a lot of people just wanted to make a viral video, hope to get those 13 million views and become famous. And, you know, it's very hard to make a viral video on purpose. If, if it was easy, we would have a whole bunch of those out there all the time, but we don't. You know, I, I, and, and the thing is that even when I'm making the videos, I'm like, man, this is going to be, I can't see how this can't be viral. It's absolutely going to catch on, and it does it, and then there'll be another stupid video that I'll do. And that one's popular. I don't understand. I got, like, several cat videos out there, and the, the one where I'm giving my cat a freaking Cheeto and he's eating it is more popular than the one where I put the treats on the table and he's, like, stealing them from the top of the table, which I thought was much more cool than... The cat just eating a Cheeto. I don't know. I'm thinking about making a video of my cat when I have a, a can of whipped cream. <laughs> Stupid cat. Just, as soon as he hears the whipped cream, he comes running and yelling. I might have to do a video on that. There's some good titles I could make that. Anyway, I digress. Anyway, check out the, uh, the fan section under the dashboard in the community. Do yourself a favor, and hopefully this uh, video helped you out, and I hope you enjoyed just our little chat, our little talk here. I don't do it often enough, and uh, next week I'll get back to reviewing some product. Okay, well, thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and you, and I hope you have a great evening and great weekend. Take care.